guys welcome back to my channel and it is Monday morning October the 29th um, I don't normally do a video on Monday but I'm going to be making some uh, beef uh, I'm going to cook a beef roast and uh, then I'm going to give the, the broth to Madeline because um, y'all know who you watched me all weekend you know that she was in a car crash Saturday and uh, she had to have six stitches in her bottom lip so she can only drink, you know, through a straw. So I made her chicken soup on uh, Saturday night. So that's what she had uh, yesterday. And then today I'm making a, a beef roast and she will have beef broth to drink. And for y'all who maybe didn't see the video that I did with Madeline uh, the night that I cooked the Great Northern Beans, here's her picture. Of course, this was taken uh, when she was in eighth grade. Um, she hasn't changed much though. She's still my little girl. <laughs> and um, to, to clarify, uh, I am not related to Madeline. I've known her for uh, since I moved into this studio apartment seven years ago. Um, her family is from Haiti. They immigrated here when she was about five years old. Uh, she's 19 now and she's a freshman in college. And uh, they live in one of the apartments here in the home that I that I rent my apartment from. So let's get busy. So we're, I'm going to slow cook it in the oven, but what I'd like to do is get my oven real hot before I put the roast in there. So I'm going to turn the oven on to 450. And um, let me tilt this down so you can see my cooking area. So I have my crock pot here, and I sprayed it and put some olive oil in it. So I'm going to get it real hot because I want to sear the roast. And um, I did buy this beef uh, chuck roast. Uh, so I'm going to wash it. I'm going to save the blood that's in it because that'll, uh, that'll help add to the broth. Uh, but this is it. Beef chuck roast bottom boneless chuck roast. So let me go ahead and get it washed and seasoned. And the grease will be nice and hot. I did have it frozen, and then I thawed it out yesterday, thinking that I was going to to cook it overnight, but then um, my friend Linda called and wanted to take me out to eat at Red Lobster last night, so that was such a wonderful treat. Um, we got, it was, it was a lunch special, but they were offering it on Sunday, so I got the, um, it was a little uh, portion of, um, shrimp and garlic butter and then I got some fried shrimp and we had a baked potato and we had to wait we were there nearly two hours so the waitress was kind enough to um, give us complimentary salads so that was real sweet of Red Lobster I think they were just a little short-handed either with cooks or waitresses so I'm just going to season this with some um, black pepper and salt um Modeling is doing okay. Um, as I said in my Saturday videos, the x-rays of her neck and back came back normal, so she did not injure any vertebrae or her back in any way. So we're thankful to God for that. Um, you know, she did hit the steering wheel and, and busted her bottom lip. She didn't just bust it, it just actually gouged a big hole in it. And, um, you know, the story behind that is that um, there just happened to be a dental surgeon at the emergency room on a Saturday. Um, her accident happened about 11.30 a.m. And uh, the dental sur first the ER doctor said that she could not repair it, that um, Madeline would have to see a plastic surgeon. So then about... Um, 10 after 1, this dental surgeon came in. He just happened to be at the hospital, y'all, stitching up a little two-year-old's tongue who had fallen in and bit her tongue. Now, if that is not a miracle from God, I don't know what is. Um, I mean, even the doctor was shocked. You know, he, he even told me, he said, I am never here on a Saturday. He said, this is so unusual that this happened. And also that it happened within a two-hour time frame. Uh, he said after two hours, you know, it doesn't do any good to try to, to reattach tissue because it's, it's, all the blood is gone from it and it's dead. Uh, but she still had a lot of blood in that tissue and, and he numbed her lips and, you know, it hurt, poor little thing. 
and he pulled that strip of skin over there and put six stitches in it and already it looked so much better so um i think my olive oil is hot so let's get this roast in here and brown it oh yeah i hear it sizzling now normally when i cook a roast i would um dredge it in flour and, and brown it and then i would remove it from the grease um and then I would make take some flour and brown it in that grease and make a nice thick gravy. But I don't want gravy for this roast um, because modeling needs broth. So that's what we're going to do is just, um, I'm going to put it in this 450 degree oven for 15 minutes. And then I'm turning the oven down to 250 degrees. And it's going to cook all day. And then she'll have the the broth for her dinner. Um, you know, she's very self-conscious being a, a teenager. She's self-conscious of her her lip, but um, you know, she got up and went to her college classes this morning. Uh, her friend Jojo took her. So, um, you know, we're back to, to square one again with um, you know, we've got to File the, the insurance claim and how the adjuster look at the little Nissan Versa. I have a pretty good feeling that it's total because um, she was hit on the passenger side and then she spun around and hit the fire hydrant and the utility pole on the front of the car. And um, so I reckon, you know, she's back at square one. Um, you know, we'll have to provide transportation for her. We'll figure it all out. Uh, she did get the job at the guest store at the outlet mall, which is about, I guess, about seven or eight miles from here. So, you know, that's going to be some challenges there. But um, I'm going to just keep praying about it and, and thinking positive, and God will work everything out. Um, you know, I know some people think, well, if, if God had been watching over her and taking care of her, she would have never had the wreck in the first place. Well, I don't think like that. You know, I I think that we have free will. You know, if we didn't have free will, you know, we wouldn't be able to live. We would just have a very boring and dull life. And, um, but God does put people in, in places to, to protect us and take care of us. Um, when Jeremy was killed in the car crash in Kissimmee, Florida in 1997, uh, he was sitting in the back seat with two other teenagers on each, um, one on the behind the driver and one in the middle. And Jeremy was on the right side. Well, the right side of the car hit a palm tree, and palm trees don't budge. So the back door it it went into a V and it crushed Jeremy. It it crushed his heart and you know his stomach. Everything was just crushed. And um, there was a fire a crew of firemen on the way back to their station from another job that they had been called out on and um they just happened to be behind them when the crash happened so they immediately you know um tried to save jeremy and they called the med flight and, and got him on the med flight but jeremy bled to death before they even got him to the orlando regional trauma center but the boy beside Jeremy, um, he had a broke, a shattered pelvis and, and a lot of physical injuries. Um, so um, when I was getting Jeremy's suit ready and everything for the funeral, uh, I didn't have a tie for him. So we went to this um, men's store there in Kissimmee, there on Main Street, and my sister and brother-in-law had come to help me. So we went in there, and um, the man that waited on us, you know, said, you know, can I help you? So um, my sister said, um, we need a, a, a tie for, um, she said, my nephew was killed yesterday in a, in a car crash, and, and we need a tie for the funeral. And that man had to grab on to the counter, y'all. He said... Jeremy saved my son's life. His son's name was Grant, and he said Grant was sitting next to Jeremy in that car 
and that the fireman who came there to try to help told him that it was Jeremy who saved his son's life because he cushioned him from the car crash. So, you know, even in my son's death, he saved somebody else's life. Isn't that amazing? So anyway, um, let me show y'all how beautiful this rose is browning up. I do have a fire on high. Okay, so what we're going to do, uh, I'm going to add some water to this. Let me go ahead and get the water running kind of hot here. So I'm going to add water to it. Now, I'm not putting a trinity in here. I don't like bell pepper in my rose. So I just have um, part of the trinity, which is, um, well, I guess you could say instead of the bell pepper, we'll substitute <laughs> carrots. So I do have three items. So I have the onions. So I'm going to go ahead and throw those in. I have, um, these are still those little tiny onions that I got from the food pantry, so I put three in there. So I have the onions, and I have some of the carrots, and celery. Now, Maudlene doesn't like garlic, but I want the antibiotics, you know, that to come into the broth from the garlic. So what I did, I just peeled it and left it in big chunks. That way I can pick it out for her. And then I just have um, a few potatoes. You know, I have them in pretty big chunks. So I'm gonna throw those in too. Okay, now my water is hot. I'm just gonna add a, a glass of water. And then we'll add some salt and pepper and everything in here. I'm going to put, there's a little bit of uh, blood left in here, so let's pour that in there. We want all that juice that we can get. Let me add one more glass of water. Well, about a half a glass. Let's see, where do we stand on the water? Okay, that looks good. So I'm going to salt and pepper these vegetables. There's some black pepper and salt. I'm not going to put the Tony Chasseries in here because, you know, it does have um, chili powder and cayenne in it, and I do not want that to get on Madeline's lip. So we're not going to do that. But I am going to add my, my Liam Perrin's Worcestershire sauce. So, um... What I'm gonna do now, like I said, put it in this 450 degree oven for 15 minutes. That way it'll get it to cooking in the oven. Kinda get it a head start. And then I'm gonna turn it down to 250 degrees. And then I'll be back in about six hours with the second part of this video and I'll show y'all the results of it. So here we go. And y'all make sure you come on back now. Bye.